Father, as we pray and as we study, we receive light in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, so we go into our study this morning. And, um, okay, that was for yesterday. Glory to God. So we do that study on the daily structure of the day. The daily time system. God wants us to know that time is very important. Time is most important to God. God doesn't want time to be wasted. God doesn't want time to be uh, treated lightly. So, He wants us to have total control of time so that the enemy doesn't use it against us to hinder us in any way, form, or fashion. Glory to God. This is the other day. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to put the something on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so let's get into it. We read Ecclesiastes in chapter 3, verse number 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. He was talking about time. He said, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose on earth. It's a time to everything that happens. A time and a season a time and a season. Okay. Then we're going to read Ephesians in chapter number 5. We read that yesterday also. Verse 15. He said, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. God wants us to redeem time. He doesn't want us to waste time. He wants us to redeem the time. Take charge of the time. Occupy the time. Use it for the right things. Make it to benefit you. Alright? Then in Genesis chapter 1 verse um, 6 particular. He said, go to, let us go down and confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Verse 5, Genesis 11. Oh, this is not the right place. It's supposed to be verse 7 to verse um, 8. Okay, let me just read verse 6. Okay, it's verse 6, verse 6. And the Lord said, Behold, Genesis 11, verse 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. They have all one language, and this they begin to do, and nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Ephesians 3, 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Now, today we're just looking at this, um, the daily system, all right? And today we want to cover the work time, work time. The work system is very, very important, the production time. There is the development time, and we looked at that yesterday. You need to develop yourself. You need to invest time every day. In building up yourself, build yourself spiritually, spend communion time with God. 
Then build up yourself physically by building your mental capacity and your physical capacity. You have to invest time to do it. Invest time to take a walk, go gymming and all that. Invest time to read, to study, to watch relevant videos. Feed your mind with truth that improves you, improves your talent, improves your skill. It has to be calculated. Otherwise, the enemy doesn't want the day to assist you to do it. But if you can divide the day into four, these are the four that God wants you to observe. Development time, production time, which is what we are looking at today. Then God wants you to work with the reflection time and the creative time. All these are very important. So, we are looking at the production time. Jesus said something in John chapter 5 verse 17. Jesus answered them, My father walketh either though I walk. So he's simply saying, look, the reason why I'm walking is because my father is walking. So God is walking. It's production. A lot of people are dreaming and dreaming and dreaming and they stay in the realm of dreaming. After you have dreamt and you have created a clear vision from dream, that's seeing all kind of beautiful things that you want to happen in your life, and then gradually you begin to form a vision, something you want to achieve, until you put your hands on the workability and you begin to do something to make it to happen, you are not producing anything. In this world, there are producers and consumers. I always tell little children when I see them, don't join the bandwagon of consumers. Become a producer. Become one of those that determine what goes on. Become a manufacturer and a producer yourself. These things are important. There is dignity in labor. We must exercise ourselves in deep, consistent work. The Father worked. Jesus worked. And so you have to work. Unless you're a bastard. And since you're not a bastard, you're working. Alright? The production time is very essential. I think they said to Thomas Edison, or one of those uh, scientists that said, genius is just 15 or 20% inspiration and the remaining percentage, 90 or 85%, is perspiration. Are you perspiring? Are you engaging yourself in accomplishment of that vision? Are you doing things? Are you working? Are you engaging your mind? Are you engaging your heart? Very important part. There must be production time. Every day of your life. And you know what Jesus said about the production time? He said there are 12 hours in a day that a man must work. So Jesus is recommending that you must have 12 hours of productive time. It's there for development time. Development time is spent with God. You then training yourself, developing yourself. But this one is production time. Jesus said you should give 12 hours to that. All right. Most of our 9 to 5 is 8 hours. And the minimum you should do is six hours. All right? Very important. We must give ourselves to the work. The work that makes it happen. The work that makes it a reality. The work that make it, makes it true. Those men in the scriptures that received the promise and fulfilled the things that go on them to fulfill, they were men of action who will see the vision and then they get up and go for the vision. They go for it. Work is important. The Bible even says that when a man works very hard, even though he, he eats little, he said he has at least tried. <laughs> you know, he has tried. There are so many that's all working and say it's dream. Dream at the right time. But work also at the right time. And you need to put a chunk of your day into working. Right? Doing the will of God. Doing the things that you can open your business and you sit all day 
and you're just thinking, okay, I'll just listen to the radio making to come in. No, you're not working. You should be sitting down there and say, okay, what can we do to increase customers coming? What can we do to improve on this place? And as you're doing that, you are working. You decide to take a screw and tell people, okay, this is what we do. We have this shop here, or we have this business center here, or we have the business here. Work is very important. And we need to get ourselves into that. God wants you to be engaged in that every day. I want you to pray right now and say, Father, I receive the grace of dignity in labor, in work. I receive the help to work out my salvation with trembling and fear. I receive the grace of help. The grace of of work and receive it Lord in Jesus name. Pray the Holy Ghost right now so we can do some confessions with the Lord God. Rade Papu Skufi and Abada Pasumi Kiteke or Raka Papu Skufi and Mesete Kalesia Josi and Sanapu Puskufi Eta Kalusho Arama Musum Gadiata in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Glory to God we are speaking the word. Remember the words you speak today creates the future you want tomorrow. Alright? And we don't speak what we are going through. We speak where we are going to, as if we are already there. So we may say, in the name of Jesus, I am born of God. God is love. I am love. I walk in love. God is holy. I am holy. I walk in holiness. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. I am the healed. Because Jesus took my infirmity and bore my sicknesses. I am the rich. Because by, uh, because Jesus took the poor I should have been and died with him on the cross, I have the power to get wealth. For the Father has given me the power. Wealth flows is flowing into my life. I declare I am the favored one because I'm surrounded with favor as a shield. I am the secured one. I am all that am I because we dwell in God's secret place. Under God's shadow, no evil can befall us there. No plague can come near us. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am head and never tell. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's character. Thinking what you would think, saying what you would say, and doing what you would do in all situations. I manifest, yes, the fullness of Christ's power. I cast out devils. I lay us on the sick, they recover. I manifest the fullness of Christ's presence. Yes, everywhere I am, the presence of God sorts the place. The sick are healed. The sinners come to Christ. Demons flee. The powers of hell are seized. And the glory of God covers the earth as well as covers the sea. In the name of Jesus, I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom. I do experts in every place of work. By the wisdom of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that it is well with me. I've gone up blessed. I've come back blessed. In the name of Jesus. My children are taught of the Lord. Great is their peace. In the name of Jesus. They are mighty on the earth. They know God and walk with him. In the name of Jesus. I declare that I have an inward access to the Father. For I am one spirit with the Lord. Therefore I have an inward access. I fellowship with him every day. I hear from him every day. I engage his presence. I'm a carrier of the presence of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord is mighty in my life. And I am walking in the glory of the Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.